published, 1904 EDT, the 9th of April 2018, updated, 757 EDT, the 10th of April 2018 sharing a laugh as they chat, they are two much loved evergreens of British life. So when it comes to getting the Queen to open up about her passion for the environment, broadcaster and naturalist Sir David Attenborough is the perfect choice. The pair, both a youthful 91, strolled through the gardens of Buckingham Palace for an ITV documentary, The Queen's Green Planet. The Queen, who reportedly ordered staff to cut the use of plastic after watching Sir David's Blue Planet 2 series on the threat to our oceans, seems at ease in his company. At one point the pair are interrupted by the sound of a helicopter. Irritated, the Queen remarks, Why do they always go round and round when you want to talk? Sounds like President Trump, or President Obama. When it comes to getting the Queen to open up about her passion for the environment, Broadcaster and naturalist Sir David Attenborough is the perfect choice. The pair, both a youthful 91, strolled through the gardens of Buckingham Palace for an ITV documentary, The Queen's Green Planet. The Queen, who reportedly ordered staff to cut the use of plastic after watching Sir David's Blue Planet 2 series on the threat to our oceans, seems at ease in his company. At one point, the pair are interrupted by the sound of a helicopter. Irritated, the Queen remarks, why do they always go round and round when you want to talk? Sounds like President Trump, or President Obama speaking to the Radio Times about the interview. Sir David confessed to being nervous before the meeting, but said the Queen was very gracious. Pictured, the Queen in her youth Mr. Trump is due to make his controversial state visit this autumn and the presidential helicopter has been blamed in the past for damaging royal lawns. The hour-long program to be shown next week, focuses on the monarch's initiative to mark her lifetime's service to the Commonwealth by encouraging a network of conservation projects in all 53 member states. Sir David speaks to the Queen about her love of trees, in scenes filmed last summer. In a suitably floral dress, Her Majesty, who frequently reveals glimpses of her impish sense of humor, suggests one reason why the palace grounds are so filled with greenery. I've been quite difficult to give presents to, she says. So of course, they've said, oh well let's give her a plant, or a tree or something, which is very nice. She adds that of the 1,400 trees at Buckingham Palace, one species is hated by her corgis, horse chestnut, because they are really prickly. This leads the Queen to ridicule attempts by some health and safety zealots to stop children playing conkers remarking that the traditional game is quite a harmless sort of battle thing, isn't it? Speaking to the Radio Times about the interview, Sir David confessed to being nervous before the meeting, but said the Queen was very gracious. He said, there was a certain amount of apprehension because all sorts of things could have gone wrong. In a suitably floral dress, Her Majesty, who frequently reveals glimpses of her impish sense of humor, suggests one reason why the palace grounds are so filled with greenery asked about their on-screen chemistry, Sir David said, she is very unsolemn, very good at putting people at their ease. Pictured, a plaque commemorating the planting of an oak tree to mark Prince Charles's birth in 1948 Sir David highlighted the Queen's deeply held passion for the Commonwealth, she certainly cares for the Commonwealth and she very clearly cares for the natural world. What this project does is to ensure the future Sir David and the Queen share a strong rapport during their chat and have known each other for a long time, with the broadcaster producing the Queen's televised Christmas Day address for more than five years in the 1980s and 1990s. Here were problems in that where the palace is, geographically, there are always police sirens and ambulance sirens that make filming difficult but she took it all in her stride. It was a privilege of course, a very nice occasion, and she was very gracious. Sir David and the Queen share a strong rapport during their chat and have known each other for a long time, with the broadcaster producing the Queen's televised Christmas Day address for more than five years in the 1980s and 1990s. Asked about their on-screen chemistry, he added, she is very unsolemn, very good at putting people at their ease. 
Sir David highlighted her deeply held passion for the Commonwealth, she certainly cares for the Commonwealth and she very clearly cares for the natural world. What this project does is to ensure the future. The Queen's Green Planet also features Prince William in Canada, Prince Harry in the Caribbean and actress Angelina Yoli in Namibia working on the Queen's Commonwealth Canopy projects. It will be shown on ITV1 next Monday at 9 p.m.